This is the uh, Sonata BMS uh, on the bench, 72 cell BMS um, that's been sent to me by um, Ian and uh, other members on the uh, forum there, so it's just an experimental um, development. So we're looking at this, it's a 72 cell BMS, it's got nine um, chips on the board, there's some more on the other side. This is the low voltage communication side. I've powered it up on the bench uh, and, and as you would expect it's um, streaming a, uh, a constant stream of data. Uh, it's got two separate CAN buses and they're both streaming different data. Three separate IDs, 671 and 620 on CAN1 and 670 on uh, CAN2. Um, so that side of it, finding the power connections and the CAN connections was uh, pretty easy because they're very nicely marked on the bottom of the printed circuit board. At the other end, the identifying the cell connections is very easy as well also from the um, markings on the underside of the printed circuit board. And uh, just connecting one cell, just a 3.6 volt cell into the circuit here, uh, caused no change in any of the CAN data. So it looks like I'm going to have to make up a 72 cell BCM type fooler device to uh, power up this side to see if the cell voltages are transmitted um, routinely. Unfortunately we can't find out any other way I don't think. A bit of a pain but never mind I'll probably have a go at that in the next few days. Um, what else is there to say about it? Uh, not much really but it's an interesting board. Uh, nice, nice looking board. Uh, must be quite expensive to make with nine um, of the uh, LTC chips on it. Um, so apart from that, we just need to work out whether it can actually um, or does actually send a constant stream of data. If it does, then it could be a very useful uh, solution. I'm not quite sure the voltage range of the um, Sonata um, cells. I'm sure somebody on the forum will let me know about that. Uh, so that's where we are.